This quick video is a, is a look on how to get the Cisco SPA 509G and possibly other phones from Cisco to work on the Adtran and Advanta 7100. Uh, this, when they work together it is somewhat simplistic. Uh, you want to think about those phones as being more like analog phones unless you're willing to invest the time to figure out how to make the configuration work together a little bit tighter. It's not officially supported by either company, so Cisco is not going to say that it will work right with the 7100, and Adtran will not say that the Cisco 509G is going to work with the 7100 as well. So here's what you do. So you log into the administrator tool for the phone. You click on Admin Login and then Advanced. First thing you want to do is click on Attendant Console and switch the server type to Asterisk. I don't particularly know why that helps the system work together, but it does make it more compatible. You click on your extension you're going to use then, and you scroll down and you fill out just a few settings. You fill out, I'm not changing anything except for the proxy, op on proxy, and um, as I scroll down here, I give it an extension name, user ID, a password, and then an auth ID and then I submit those changes. So between the attendant console setting and just setting up the really rudimentary uh, settings on the extension, that's how you get the phone to talk to the 7100, no big trick there. And then you go to the phone and you give it some basic information like a station name, a display name, and then you decide how you want these lines. I have two lines set up on the phone, two line appearance keys anyway, so I just made sure it was selected as one, and private and then if I have user here it's going to just uh, put what, what uh, ID we entered in the SIP ID. Uh, I also in my demo had a uh, speed dial and this is how the speed dial is set up. You just basically put the function equals BLF plus SD and then give it a user ID as you can see here and then it'll give you speed dial. Uh, BLF functionality uh, doesn't work at this point in time. I haven't invested any sort of time to check that out. Uh, I believe it should work if you do find the right combination of configuration. But like I said, nobody at Adtran or at Cisco is going to give you the keys to that, so uh, you're experimenting. When you do figure that out, post a video or post it up online to help others figure that out as well. So to create the phone in the Netvanta 7100, you click on New, and you basically tell it no, New. You give it the extension you're going to create. So maybe I'll do 2059, you give it a name, you tell it what type, and basically you don't set any type of uh, MAC address or phone model because this phone is not officially supported. It's going to look at it as a generic uh, phone, so you're just going to click apply. The next screen is going to pop up here, and you give it a SIP authorization password. So I could generate a random password here, and if I have any DIDs that I'd like to assign to this, I could click New and just add the DID number right there. Uh, once you finish those changes, you click Apply, and it'll tell you that the phone needs to be rebooted. Your phone doesn't need to be rebooted. That's more for the other phones that are configured by config files. We're configuring these things directly, so as soon as you hit OK, give it a couple seconds, that phone will come up and uh, be working fine. But that's really all there is to it functions as a really basic phone and uh, does a great job with the audio quality between the 7100 and the 509G. So now that we set the phone up, let's take a look at the Cisco 509G. And you want to think about this phone as kind of like an analog phone because it's not going to be high function, but it'll do most of the normal things you need to do. So a call comes in, I'm able to answer that call. If I need to transfer it to another extension, I can transfer it. If I want to send the call back there, I can. Hold button works like it should. Do not disturb button also works when that's in that mode as well. But think of it like an analog phone because it is somewhat basic functionality. Uh, there probably is a way to make it recognize uh, BLFs and park locations, but uh, for my quick test here, I did not go through that process. Uh, the system does use, the phone does use XML to communicate that. 
and the 7100 does use XML to communicate that information to the Polycom phone server so there may be some common ground but uh, since it's not an officially support, support platform uh, you are on your own on that endeavor but it may work